Let's look at an example of what happens if we want to find the area that's bounded by two curves, but the curves cross each other. How do we treat that kind of a situation? So notice here that I've got two curves, f of x and g of x, and they cross at the point c. And I want to figure out what the area between the two curves is on both parts of c, both sides of c. So what I do is I begin with the absolute value, because the absolute value forces everything to be positive. So I calculate the integral from a to b of the absolute value of f minus g. And it's no worry that on the latter part of the interval after c that f is below function g, because the absolute value will take care of that. But if I know where the two curves meet, which means they meet at c, then I can split this problem up into two separate problems, and I can drop the absolute value. First, calculate the integral from a to c of f of x minus g of x. So f here is above the curve g on the interval from a to c. Then add in the integral from c to b and reverse the subtraction. Now this time I'm going to do g of x minus f of x. And that is how we answer a problem where curves cross each other, where on one part of the interval, one function is above another one, but then they cross, and then on a latter part of the interval, the second function is now above the first function.